Hi and welcome. I'm Davide and my profession is a barista. But here in Italy, working in a traditional cafe doesn't give you the chance to do experiment and taste with different coffees. So I've decided to move on the direction that I wanted. And over two years now, I've been tasting many different coffees in order to escape from a routine, a traditional cafe experience, doing those at the same time, experiment with different methods. But over five months now, I'm focusing on controlling on the 4T. Temperature, time, TDS and taste in order to achieve a desirable result. So the coffee that will guess my following experiment come from Kenya, from Barico Agriculture Cooperative. A specific project of 821 families that grow in the variety SL28, SL34, and Ryu, Ryu Irene, between 1700 to 1800 meters above the sea level. After the cherry has been harvested, the farmer handpicks selectively the ripest cherry, which are then delivered to Karindundu washing station for a carefully process. In this specific washing station, remove the outer skin with four this pulper. And after pulping, the coffee is double fermented in a period of washing and soaking in between. After soaking, the coffee is double is uh, transferred, sorry, in the pre-drain table for remove the excess liquid before be moving to the rice drain bed that takes 10 to 12 days until it get 12.5% of moisture. So today I will make the shot of my express and the sinner to drink with this new machine. That looks like a microwave, but it's not. It's a home blast chiller and help me to control the temperature of my ground coffee that have an effect on the extraction time and following on the total dissolved solid that has been transferring on the final cup. It's a new way that improves 1.5% of TDS more of every coffee. And the result will get more body, tactile, flavors, and balancing the natural tropical acidity of this coffee in your cup. In fact, the blast chilling procedure is increasing the density of the solid component in my ground coffee, but in the same time, avoid the developing of the PAH, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon. As you can see in the graphic in front of you, we achieve a balanced extraction but with an higher TDS. So now we are ready. So take, re take your time, relax, and then we go to prepare your espressos. For my espresso, I use 20 gram in for 38 out. In your cup, you will receive a medium to medium high body, high velvety texture with the long lasting finish. Regarding the taste, high sweetness like tropical fruit, medium acidity like blackberry, and low bitterness in the aftertaste like pink grapefruit. So flavors, tropical fruit, blackberry, and pink grapefruit that will develop after 30 seconds in tropical fruit like mango and white melon. Please, before drink, steer well, and then the little glass on your right before the dirty spoon. Please enjoy my espresso, and I'll be back with my milk beverage.
for my milk beverage, I decide to use 20 gram in for 36 out, but without using the blast chiller, because I would like to keep the lovely acidity of this coffee that in combination of my milk remind me of my favorite blackberry cheesecake dessert. This Kenya espresso with my fresh organic milk in this specific amount of Gibbler tar glass capacity result a medium ice sweetness with buttery mouthfeel. Flavors, milk chocolate and hint of blackberry yogurt. Please enjoy. Sometimes happen. Sorry. Enjoy. This espresso, without using the blast chiller, have a TDS of 9% and the extraction is 20.5%. Please enjoy. We roast this coffee 10 days ago with a rickshaw time of 10 minutes and 30 seconds with 23.8% of development. And to avoid that risk of having an higher acidity, we're decreasing the temperature of the drying phase but expanding the non-aim phase. And in this way, we're decreasing the acidity, but the flavors and the body rise up. Please enjoy. And I'll be back with my signature drink. Cinque minuti. In my signature drink, I want to add the same flavors that I found in the Capi Roasting Profile because we found a different fruity notes that we lost with this espresso profile. So, Tarjeline tea from India highlights the sweetness and gives more grape fruity flavors. And uh, this solution, this is made by malic water and natural grape sugar. Water acts 60 ppm plus malic acid. The ratio is 0.8 per, per liter. 
and the totally natural biological sugar of grape from Sicily, the variety is Cataratto. The ratio between my sugar and this water is two to one. So first I've cleaned my six gram of tea to remove the impurity. And now I add 150 gram of hot water at 80 degrees for 30 seconds. Second ingredient is my solution, 12.5 gram. That's made more elegant, the acidity of my espresso. And now I filter 70 gram of my tea in this chilled decanter to remove, to, sorry, to cool down the temperature and emphasize its aroma. And the last ingredient, of course the most important, is my espresso. That with flavors of tropical fruit, blackberry, and pink grapefruit, with this ingredient and with this method, create a unique and unexpected result. Tre minuti. My espresso is made by 20 gram in for 38 out. And I made my espresso in this chilled copper cup to bring the espresso temperature to the tea temperature. And now I filter my espresso in the aeropress to remove the biggest amount of unsoluble solid that could like, give some bitterness or astringency as well, especially in the cold beverages, even if my blasted coffee is so sweet and clean. So with this ingredient, and with this method, I create my signature drink that gives more complexity to my coffee, but with the delicate and sweet flavors of grape that we develop after one minute in the totally coffee cascara flavors. So please, enjoy my drink with Un two sips, sip, please. And the second one, after one minute. Please, enjoy my signature drink. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's been part of my 40 Control project. This is my time. <laughs>